You've seen me do a two level drill down before. You've seen me do a three level drill down before. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a four level geographic drill down. Here's what it's gonna look like. We can click on a region and drill down to the states. Click on a state and drill down to the counties. Click on a county and drill down to the cities. Click on a city and it resets back up to the regions. This is how you do it. The data set we'll be using for this example is available in the description. So go ahead and download it so you can follow along. We've got region, state, county, city, and sales. Let's go to a new sheet. Notice how the region field has an ABC next to it. We want that to be a geographic field. Click on the ABC, go down to geographic role, create from, and state. So the region is going to inherit the properties of the states. Tableau has automatically created a hierarchy. If I don't want that hierarchy, I can right click on it and remove it. First thing we need to do is build our four maps. Double click on region. Notice how nothing shows up. I need to click on the 49 unknown on the bottom right, choose edit locations, and change my country to USA. Click on okay. Change the mark type to a map. Drag sales onto color. Rename this sheet sales by region. Right click on the sheet and choose duplicate. The next level we want down is state. Drag state onto the detail shelf. Double click on the sheet name and call this one sales by state. Right click on that sheet and choose duplicate. Drag county onto the detail shelf. Rename this sheet sales by county. Right click sales by county and duplicate. Change the mark type from map to a circle and drag city onto the detail shelf and move sales from color to size. Rename the sheet sales by city. Now we need to create four parameters. Each one of these parameters is going to capture the value for whether the region, the state, the county, or the city was clicked. Go to your sales by region sheet. Right click and create a parameter. Call this one region parameter. Set the data type to a string and set the current value to a blank. Click on OK. Right click on the region parameter and duplicate. Right click on the copy and rename. This one is going to be our state parameter. Right click and duplicate. Right click on the copy and rename. This is going to be our county parameter. Right click again and duplicate. Right click on the copy and rename. Call this one city parameter. Great. Now let's create a dashboard with these four sheets. Create a new dashboard. In order to get dynamic zone visibility to work, we have to start with a container. Drag vertical container into the view. Drag sales by region into that container. Drag sales by state into that container, sales by county into that container, and sales by city into that container. If I click on a region, nothing happens. If I click on a state, nothing happens. Same thing with county and city. The next thing we need to do is to create four parameter actions. Go to dashboard on the menu and choose actions. Click on add action and change parameter. Call this one update region parameter. We only want to choose for a source sheet our sales by region. The target parameter we're going to use is our region parameter, and the source field is our region. Now this is very important. On the right hand side, we want to set the value, but leave it blank. Click on OK. Create a second change parameter action. Call this one update state parameter. Our source sheets is only going to be the sales by state sheet. Target parameter is state, and our source field is state. And again, set the value to blank. Click on OK. Third action, change parameter. Update county parameter. We're only going to use the sales by county sheet. Our target parameter is our county parameter and our source field is our county. Set the value to blank. Click on OK. One more action. Change parameter. Update city parameter. We only want to use the sales by city sheet. Change your target parameter to city and set your source field to city and then set the value to blank. Click on OK and click on OK again. Let's pop up these parameters on the right hand side to see them in action. On any of the sheets, click on more options, parameters, and region parameter. Click on it again, parameters, state parameter. Two more times, parameter, county parameter, and last one, city parameter. So now, when I click on a region, it populates my region parameter. When I click off of it, it goes away. Click on it again, and it's back. Now if I click on a state, my region parameter goes blank, but my state gets populated. When I click on a county, my county gets populated, but my state disappears. And lastly, if I click on a city, my city populates, but my county disappears. 
Okay, now leave it like this with the city selected because we're gonna need this in order to set up our dynamic zone visibility. To set up dynamic zone visibility, you wanna choose your sheet, go to the layout tab, check control visibility using, and you'll notice there's nothing there because we haven't set those up yet. So let's go back to our sales by region sheet and we're gonna to need to create four calculations, one for each of the sheets. Create a new calculated field. I'm gonna start this with the name DZV to remind me that I'm using it for the dynamic zone visibility. Call this one DZV region. We want the regions to appear when we have a zip code clicked. So if you think about how we drilled through there, we went from region to state to county to zip. When we click on that zip code, we want the state sheet to show up. So our calculation is region parameter is equal to blank and state parameter is equal to blank and county parameter is equal to blank and our city parameter is not equal to blank. Click on okay. Right click on that calculation and duplicate. Right click on the new one and choose edit. Rename this one DZV state. Now we want the states to appear when the region has been populated, but nothing else is populated. Click on okay. Right click on DZV state and duplicate. Edit the copy. Call this one DZV county. We want the counties to appear when the region is blank, the state is not blank, the county is blank, and the city is blank. Click on okay. And then lastly, duplicate and edit the copy. Call this one DZV city. We want the city to show up when our region is blank, our state is blank, our county is not blank, and our city is blank. Click on okay. Let's go back to our dashboard. Choose your sales by region sheet. On the left-hand side, choose control visibility using, and instead of none, switch it to DZV region. Click on the sales by state sheet. Turn on control visibility using, and choose state. Click on the county sheet. Control visibility using, and county. Click on the city sheet control visibility using, and city. Now notice they all went blank. That's because my city parameter got reset. So let's just type in any city name here. Let's say Atlanta. And our region map is gonna come back. Now if we click on a region, it goes blank again. That's because both region and city are populated. So let's delete the city. This is just a bit of configuration you need to do to get it working the first time. Click on a region, the region gets populated, and all of the other parameters are blank. Therefore, my state shows up. Click on a state, everything is blank except for my state parameter. That's why it's showing me the county level. Click on a county level, and now it shows me the city level. Click on a city, and it goes back to the region level. Now notice what didn't happen here. When I click on a region, it doesn't filter down to that region. It just drills down. So we needed to go ahead and filter as well. That requires us to create three more parameters and three more calculations. Let's go back over to our sales by region sheet. Highlight the county, region, and state parameters, right-click and duplicate. Right-click on county parameter copy and choose rename. Call it county filter. Right-click on region parameter copy and choose rename and call it region filter. Right-click on state parameter copy, choose rename and call this one state filter. So those are our three parameters. Let's go ahead and set up our parameter actions and then we'll come back and do the filtering. Go back to your dashboard, click on the sheet, choose parameters, and show the region filter parameter. Show the state filter parameter, and lastly, show the county filter parameter. Okay, but now we need to set up our actions to populate these fields. Go up to dashboard actions. Choose add action, change parameter. Let's call this one our region filter. We only wanna do the sales by region sheet. We're gonna set it up very similar to the other parameter action we did for the region. Target parameter is region filter. The source field is region, but the difference is over here on the right hand side, we wanna leave the clear selection will as keep current value. Click on okay, click on add action, and add another change parameter action. Call this one state filter. This one is only going to be controlled by the sales by state sheet. Our target parameter is our state filter. Our source field is our state, and leave it as keep current value. Click on OK. Add one more action, change parameter. Call this one county filter. We only wanted to use the sales by county sheet. Our target parameter is our county filter. Our source field is our county and leave it as keep current value. Click on OK and click on OK again. 
OK, all of our parameters are now on the right hand side. And let's check and make sure that the parameter actions are working. Click on a region, it drills down, and it populates both of my region parameters. Click on a state, it populates both of my state parameters, and it leaves my region filter parameter with a value. It's exactly what I want. Click on county, and now all three of my filter parameters have a value, and only my county has a value. Click on a city, and it goes back to the top. Excellent. Now we're ready to set up the actual filtering. Go to your sales by region sheet and create a new calculated field. I'm going to call this one my region filter. My calculation is region equals region filter. Click on OK. Go to your sales by state sheet and drag region filter onto the filter shelf and choose true. Click on OK. Notice how it zoomed in to that region. Go to the sales by county sheet. Right click and create a new calculated field. We're going to call this one our state filter. Our calculation is state equals our state filter parameter. Click on OK. Drag region filter to the filters and choose true. And drag state filter to the filters and choose true. Go to the sales by city sheet. Right click and create another calculated field. This one is our county filter. We're going to set it up very similar. County equals our county filter parameter. Click on OK. Drag region filter to the filters and choose true. Drag state filter to the filters and choose true. Drag county filter to the filters and choose true. OK, let's go back over our dashboard and see if we've got it all working. Click on the dashboard. Everything looks broken at the moment. So let's go ahead and populate something into our city parameter. Let's say Atlanta. OK, we have our region level map. Click on a region and it goes blank again. So we need to reset the city parameter. I know this is a bit fiddly. I don't really know any other way around it. You just kind of have to get used to it. But notice we clicked on a region and it's now filtered down to the states for that region. Click on a state and it filters down to the counties in that state. Click on a county and it filters down to the cities in that county. Everything's working perfectly. So now let's just do a bit of formatting of the titles. Go to your sales by state sheet. Double click on the title and after the sheet name, I'm going to put a couple spaces and a vertical bar. And then I'm going to type region and insert my region filter parameter. Click on OK. Go to the sales by county. Double click on the title. And same thing. Let's put a couple spaces. And then we want to put in here region, colon, insert region filter. And then maybe two more spaces and another vertical bar. And then state, colon, and insert the state filter. Click on OK. Lastly, let's go to the sales by city. Double click on the title. And just to see how it looks, I'm going to create these on a second line. I'm going to change my font size to something like 12. Put in the word region and a colon. And then I'm going to insert my region filter parameter. Give myself a bit more room. Type in state, colon, and insert my state filter parameter. One more thing, county, colon, and then insert my county filter. Click on OK. Go back over to my dashboard. And I think that looks pretty nice on two lines. Click on a city, it goes back to the region. Click on a region, and it now says sales by state in the west region. Click on a state, and we now have our sales by county for the west region and the state of Oregon. Click on a county, and now we have sales by city. A bit of cleanup, and then we're all done. Choose this container on the right hand side, click on the X to remove it from the dashboard, and choose delete containers. You can color code it however you want. In the end, I came up with a view like this. It drills down from region to state, state to county, county to city. I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, give it a like. That helps other people find it too. And don't forget to leave a comment. What part did you like best? I enjoy creating these videos for you, so don't forget to click on subscribe. And last thing, every Friday I put out a newsletter with career tips, tips and tricks for Tableau, links to products I create, and more. Go to andycreeble.com and sign up.